Hello friends, fractions, adding mixed numbers with common denominators, right? So this is step one to adding mixed numbers because we have our denominators are going to be common. So in order to add mixed numbers, right, you, you have separate the whole numbers and the fractions into two different problems. So we can add one plus three and two fifths plus one fifth. Okay, then we'll combine the answers. So check this out. One plus three is four. And then two fifths plus one fifth is what? Three fifths. So our answer is four and three fifths. Fairly simple. Eight plus 12 is 20. Three plus two is five. 20 and five eighths. Okay, so let's do the first two problems. Pretty simple. Now, let's check this out. We got four more problems that we're going to do. If the new fraction results in an improper fraction, convert convert it to a mixed number and add whole number and add the whole numbers together. So five plus two, well that's seven. Two thirds plus two thirds. Oh, that's kind of what it's talking about. Improper fraction. Two plus two is four. Four thirds. So seven and four thirds. What do we do? So four thirds. Let's just say four thirds equals one. Four divided by three is one. One and one third. So now I'm adding seven plus one and one third. Eight and one third is my final, final answer. Four plus one is five. Four six plus five six equals nine six, right? Okay, so six goes into nine one time. Right, so nine divided by six one time, and then what's our remainder? Three. Okay, nine minus six is three. So then we have three six. What's five plus one and three six? That will be six and three six. Okay, and if we wanted to, we could simplify. Three is half of six, so five and a half. Or six and a half. Last two questions. What if you have a mixed number and you're adding it with an improper fraction? It's the same thing. It's the same thing. So you can either convert this to a mixed number now. Okay, we'll, we'll do that this time. 12, uh, okay, so 12 goes into 22 one time. And then what is 22 minus 12? 10. So, 1 and 10 twelfths. So, now we have 7 and 10 twelfths. Plus. We're going to add them together. So, that will be 8 and then 20 twelfths. Okay. That's pretty simple. So, improper fraction equals, uh, we'll have 1, right? So, that's 20 and 20 twelfths equals 1 and 8 twelfths. So a, 1 plus 8 is 9 and 8 twelfths. Final answer. Okay. Notice we had to do two different conversions. We had to do turn this into a mixed number and then again we had to turn this into a mixed number. What if we did this? It's, it's the same thing, it's a matter of preference. 4 7 plus 27 is 34, right? Okay. So why don't we just do this? Set 34, or 30, yeah, 34. Eighths. 4 and 34 eighths. So we just added the improper fractions together, and now we can convert them to a mixed number. So 8 times 4, 34 uh, divided by 8. 8 times 4 is 32. So, remainder of 2. Remainder of 2. That would be um, 4 and then 2 eighths. Okay? So, what is 4 plus 4 and 2 eighths? 4 plus 4 and 2 eighths equals 8 and 2 eighths. And that is our answer. Yeah. 
So I hope this makes sense. This is adding uh, adding mixed numbers with common denominators. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know what I can do to help you, and, and we can work work together. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time. Thank you.